Oh, alrighty, so here we are again, running around this place. Except now, you stay here. Okay. Let's go. We uh, we're in a church. <laughs> we just fought a giant bat, and now we're in a church. How weird is life, right? Anyway, so the bat decided to burst in through the roof, and because of that, we now have an egress point that we can use this thing for. Yes, please. Well, this is cool. Hi, right, Billy. Don't die, Billy. Climb down the ladder. Might as well. Yep, don't like it. Hate it. It's gross. Flip with the John Switcher. Caution, don't touch. Don't touch butt fire. Sure. What elevator? Oh, that elevator. Okay. I hate this place. It's spooky. I don't like spooky, Billy. Oh. We're in the laboratory. How did I not notice that? Oh, look at you. Am I the only thing in here? A scenic view of the lake can be seen from the cliff. Shoot it! Shoot the lake! I'll take that. Billy, you need some health, but I don't have any green herbs. The door's now unlocked. Billy! Over here. Nothing. Okay, good. Nothing happened. I like it when nothing happens. <sighs> Billy! Get your booty running. Follow me. Okay. Alright, I don't think I need this again. Um, I might end up needing it at some point later. But for now, I don't think I need it. Question mark? Leave it. So this game has a weird setup compared to like most games you play like this. Like, for one thing, I did I did make a I made a video a while back about like the rules, so to speak, of, of survival horror games, where like especially if you play on medium difficulty, you have literally every uh, an ammo to kill every creature in the game, enough ammo, but it's all scattered throughout the game, so that makes it a bit more difficult. Um, generally, in these situations, like when you got a boss room coming up, they tend to give you, you know, stuff. They give you health and ammo and whatnot. Maybe not enough, but some, right? And this game seems to be violating all those rules, which is weird. Because this one's back when I made the rules. Or when I understood the rules, I should say. Although, to be fair, it was more like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, not 0. 0 came after those three, so... Maybe they changed the rules for this game. And I hate the inventory system. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I'll give you that it is more real. More realistic. It definitely is more realistic. Regardless of how stupid it is. Yep, not going up there. Billy! Billy! This place is weird, Billy! Oh. So. That's a door? That's weird. It looks like I should walk through there. But it's locked. Okay, well, whatever. Here we go! Come on, Billy! That's inconvenient. Someone was evidently looking for something here. Evidently. I don't like this room, Billy. Uh-oh. What's the winding path thing? Hey, zombie. You aren't gonna trick me, bro. I know you're not dead. At least not completely, anyway. Marcus's diary number two. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I close my babies up in a special capsule. But it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. <laughs> to open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. <laughs> I already figured it out. 
Dead guy, could you please stand up so I can shoot you dead again? For reals, this time. Hello. Oh. This is odd. A simple elevator chute for transporting items. It appears to be connected to the operating room. Send something to the operating room? No. We're gonna have to do that again? Uh No, it's fine. We don't need we don't need to save just yet. Uh, this is annoying me. Oh. Oh, okay, there's something upstairs. Oh, for Christ's sake. Alright. Um, so there's something I want to check out real quick. Uh, I know this is weird. But if you remember... When we first landed here, there was that door that was blocked by fire. And I kind of want to see if there's anything over there. You know, nah, never mind. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go down and grab the, uh, um, the hook shot and be right back. Not going to lie, was totally expecting Goopy Marcus there. Give me a moment. I'm about to do some annoying inventory management. Again. <sighs> be right back. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and... Well, let's save first, because that took me freaking five and a half minutes to do. Yes, please. <clears throat> Just running back and forth between the church and up here. Library. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And, uh... Nope, wrong button. Switch back. There we go. Alright, you go ahead and drop that. Yes. Nope. That meant say drop that. Sorry. There we go. Alrighty. Billy, I will be right back. Keep an eye on this guy. I don't trust him. You stay here. Okay. Come on! Okay. Zip. <laughs> okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Laboratory manager's diary. Or. Yeah, diary. I was right. <laughs> Tell you in the box is the uh, orders they changed the platform entry code. Later I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his child's growth. But the director's a loner. He isn't married. He doesn't have any children. What do you mean? I don't know. Something to do with the leeches, I bet. Hmm. Some kind of internal organ appears to be inside. Well, it's an internal, internal organ. Oh, nah. Nice. I don't have any bottles, so I'm not going to pick that up just yet. <clears throat> I don't like this. Being alone makes it even worse. Ow! Oh, goopers! Ah, one sec. Nope, go back. Nope, nope. <laughs> Equip, thank you. And... Go away! And go away! Go! Away! Giddy. Nobody likes you, Goopy Marcus. Ugh. Disgusting. These capsules contain human specimens. Each has a look of great suffering on its face. <gasps> look, bottle. Bottle. Get the bottle. Thank y'all. Ha <laughs> ha Map. I love a map. Where the heck am I? Oh, that's right. I'm on a different floor. Okay, there we go. That's where... What? No, that's the church. Okay. Second floor. Okay. Ha. Ah. What? What? Second floor. Oh, the elevator took us down, not up. My bad. I thought it took us up. I'm an idiot. Or I was misinformed. I misunderstood what was happening. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. Sure, why not? One of the capsules is glowing. Weird. You cannot carry this right now. Great. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and 
put you down. Yes, please. Then I'm gonna pick you up. <clears throat> please be only three. I'm gonna go ahead and up oh, your six. Combine you with you, and I'm gonna put you down again. Please, please, please. And then I'm gonna pick you up again. No, I'm going to no. I'm gonna pick pick you, pick you, pick you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Picking up things shouldn't be so difficult. Yes, please. There we go. Nice. Now I have six Molotovs and a ton of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you behind too. Because I don't know if I need you right now. It's gonna be knowing my luck, I'm gonna need you immediately. Hello, can I take this thing now? Yep. It's gross. I'm gonna examine it. Hello. Lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of specimen material. Yeah, I'm gonna need a solving agent to get into it. That's cool. Billy, how you doing down there? You still alive? Yes, Rebecca, I'm still alive. There's a button. Press it. May as well. Aha! Goofy Marcus, no! Okay. Okay, so that way's locked, but this way's open. Okay. Oh, look, more gas. <gasps> look, a gerb. I love gerbs. Yes, please. Billy would love a gerb. I don't have the red herb on me now. Oh, look. More. <gasps> a tram? Nice. I love a tram. Yes, please. Hello? What is this room? Sounds wet. Oh. Ow. Stop! It's my ankle. <clears throat> leech growth records. February 3rd, 1978. Minister T into four leeches. Oh. That's important. They will survive. They, their will to survive leads them to first to parasitism and predation, then they breed and multiply. Such a single-minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapons research. Afterwards, no major changes observed. 78. Double their... No oh. Seven days since administration of the tea. Rapid growth in to double former size. Signs of uh, double their numbers in one hour, but their ravenous appetites led them to cannibalize, hasten to increase supply, but lost two. So, four leeches, doubled to eight, lost two, that's six. 78. Provide them with live feed, but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from their experience and beginning to exhibit group attack behavior. They are also ceasing cannibalism. Oh, so that'd be three. Leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior, even when not feeding. They are more as a collective. They move as a collective. They consume everything I offer with remarkable efficiency. An employee has stumbled onto my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will these leeches respond? A day worthy of commemoration. Today they begin to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children. No one will take you away. Well, that was three digits. You got leech growth records. Nice. It's locked. Full of poisonous gas. The safety lock has been activated. It's probably a good thing. I don't want to mess with anything with poisonous gas in it. <gasps> yes! What's the red one? Put some mixing. Yes. Add to the chemical. Yes. Red chemical and green chemical mixed to form the stripping agent. Billy. <laughs> uh, okay. Use. Combine you, yes. I now have a leech. Examine. It's a frozen leech. Neat. Okay.
Okay. Nope, wrong one. Go back to Billy. Oh, Billy's under attack. <laughs> that was hilarious. Hi. I knew he was going to get up. Alright, now what I wanted to do before I so rudely switched to Billy... That's what it's called. Ah, here we go. Red and blue make sulfuric acid. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to make some sulfuric acid at some point. So I'm going to pick up some red before I leave. Yes. Excuse me. Looks like some kind of chemical. Yes, please. You put the red chemical in the mixing set. Appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. Yep. It's cool. I'll figure out what I have to put in there eventually. Yep, take that shoddy. Do I have any shoddy? Do I have my shoddy on me? Nope. Doofus face has got the shoddy. It's cool. I'm fine. Okay, so I can go into this big room next door. Okay. Big room next door. I don't like the big room next door. It is scary. <sighs> hey! That's gonna be useful. Shut up! I don't like you, keyword. One second. Come on, buddies. Anyone else? Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore, you're not. Punk. Cool. Not too bad. Send something to the reference room. Yes, please. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but I'm going to go bomb lurker out front there. Come on, dude. <clears throat> Come on, dude. That wasn't helpful at all. I'm dead now. Go ahead and drop these uh, ink ribbons back off in this room and go see what she's up to. And I found out something, something kind of obvious, but I figured it out. Is uh, push square and then triangle, and you can immediately shift to the other person. <clears throat> oh, here, let me grab that first, actually. <laughs> yes, please. Thank y'all. Stop it. Stop it. I'm looking at it. Thank you. Alright, and uh wrong map. Alright. Well the door's locked in here, so that's not really helpful. What does it need? Oh hey! The door is decorated with the bust of Marcus. There's space in the in the base for some kind of object. Well, at least I have that object. Fade spray! Yes, please. Somebody had a bad day. Well, it's been overturned recently. Now we got green. We need red and blue, not red and green. So I don't need the green one right now. I guess they gave me the green one just in case I didn't pick up the green in the last place. <clears throat> Investigators report. Dr. Mack, his co-founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The result of his research has been kept on the wraps the entire time. His reason became clear here. The train facility run by Dr. Marcus was 
not here exactly, but on the ground. When we ventured below, we understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus' research in the T-virus prototype called Progenitor, the evidence of the years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. Uh, we cannot know how many were forced to become subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation secret safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know, but considering the recent rapid growth of Umbella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they'll fill his facility. Rest and open. Okay, cool. Yeah. We now know what happened. A mysterious thing on the operating table. What is the mysterious thing on the operating table? I don't see anything. Here, use. Nothing happens. Maybe you're using the wrong key? What? What? Blue sculpture spe specially shaped in the form of a leech. Do I have to etch something on it? Is that what it is? Do I have to strip it? Do I have to find the blue powder? Alright. Billy, your turn. It's more red. I need blue, though. Huh? There's dice, vice for enduring combination, but it's missing part and can't be used. Alright. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, so there's a blue one here and the green one upstairs. Do I have... Yeah. <sighs> Alright, there we go. There's too much of this freaking flip-flopping around, sending stuff up and down, up and down, around and back there. So annoying. <sighs> Alright. Come on, Billy. Huh, yep. Storage decorated Marcus, space blah, 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 blah. Here, take this. Nice, lock has been released. What's in here, I wonder? Probably something stupid. I probably should have looked at the map to see if there would be like some sort of room for a boss, but that's fine. There is enough room for a boss, but I don't think there is a boss in this room. Okay. Cute. Mysterious objects floating in the water. Cute. Can I break it? <gasps> Emma. Yes, please. Oh, I see you shining over here. What are you? <gasps> An input regulator coil. Nice. There's something else here. It's a picture. The tall boy. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James to commemorate. Wait. To James to commemorate your graduation. 1939. You got the old photograph. Nice. I like an old photograph. Huh. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son. Or he grandson. could be. Or grandson. Or your mom's son. Or Bobson. Or Josh, or I don't know, anyone's son, really. Chances are he's. That's a big skull, dude. Alright, anyway. That was useless. Not entirely. I got the regular coil, which is important, I guess, for something. Hi, dead guy. Shut up. Huh. You look weird. Yes, please. Uh, shut up. <coughs> oh, you're still alive. Cool. You don't need that. Alright. Huh. Despite a few cracks, this pot looks valuable. Work of art. Nice. Good to know. Picture composite. Doesn't seem okay, cool. 
Cool, 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 cool. I don't know what's going on up here. Nice eagle, bro. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. It sends a chill up my spine. Why does it do that? The jar looks to be an antique. It's not the door I was trying to talk to. Hey, Rebecca. Take this. It's important. Yes, please. Thank you. Bye. No, no. Bye. Thank you. All right. Let me see where we are. What are we looking at, what are we looking at in this next room? It looks like a tunnel. That's going to be a, a weird one. We need something to get in there. Something to get in there. All right, cool. All right, let's see what's up here. Hello. Good job. The lock has been released. I hear you. Oh, never mind. I thought you were going to be Marcus. touch you. I know you're a trap. Oh, look. Gasoline. Oh, sterilizing agent. Close enough. Ammo. I love ammo. Yes, please. Ammo. I love ammo. Yes, please. Well, the good news is I know what the sterilizing... <laughs> it wasn't just stuffed in there. Of course it wasn't just stuffed in there. good news is I know what the sterilizing agent is for. Don't touch him. I don't see anything else useful in here. Okay, goodbye. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and shift back to Billy. And we're going to go ahead and... No, I'm not going to shift back to Billy. I'm fine who I am right now. I'm fine with who I am, and everyone should be fine with who they are. But anyway, apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. I know these episodes seem like there's like nothing going on in them, but we are progressing, and that's the important part. That's the important part. Don't be so hyper-adjusted. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me with this episode of Resident Evil Zero. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, we'll probably like that like for, uh, for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure that subscribe button. Of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time as we use the sterilizing agent. And until then, good night. <laughs>